Another week, another premium shop item update, review, and showcase. Welcome on in, everybody. If you're new here, I'm Athena, and today we are going to be going over all of the items in the premium shop, and I'm just going to give you a little idea of whether or not they are worth your moonstones or not. So let's look at the items. And we are refreshing... Ooh, okay. So all of the items this week are previous shop items. So this is a little disappointing to me only because I was hoping for something new, obviously, as we always are. But I'm a little bit happy because everybody who was saving up moonstones can finally get the purple cottage. So... I think that's the one we're going to start off with because I already have my house skin as the purple cottage. Let's look at it. This is what it looks like in real life. We're already standing in front of my house, which I have already reskinned to be the purple cottage. And for those of you who don't know, in order to change your house skin, go into furniture mode, pick up your house as if you were moving it, and there should be a button to replace your house. It should show that on the bottom right hand corner. For me, it's square because I'm on PlayStation. Click that button and it will give you a bunch of different options to replace your home. And if you have purchased the cottage house skin, you should be able to change it to the cottage. One cool thing with the cottage is that if you walk around to the back of it, there is a door that is completely functional. So you're able to make a backyard, but if you just put the house completely up to the wall, no big deal. I don't think anybody will notice that there's a back door, but you do have a functional back door if you want to have one. Next up, we have the Whimsical Pink Companion Pack 2, which includes the Sunbird, Turtle, Rabbit, and Fox. So we are at my designated companion area right now. So we're just going to go up to one of these houses and switch out my companions with the Whimsical Pink Pack 2. So it's the Sunbird, Turtle, Rabbit, and Fox. These are the ones that have the watercolory, pale, ghostly look to them where they kind of just leave like a watercolor trail as they're walking, which I think is really, really cool. But at the same time, I would like other companions that might not just be all one color. I feel like these are kind of just quote unquote lazy ways to make new companions, but I do think they're really cute for those who like these colors. Next up, we have the Kingdom of Corona trio set, which comes with the wardrobe, the clock, and the sink. Now, I have used the clock in a build that I already have going on, so let's head to the house and check it out. So we have just entered my greenhouse slash conservatory area, and as you can see, I have the wall clock on my wall already. So this is kind of what it looks like already built into a furniture build, and I think it looks great for what I was going for. And then I also placed the sink and the wardrobe inside of my conservatory just so you could see what they look like in person. And they have this really distressed blue look to it. Like somebody just like either quickly painted over it or painted over it a long time ago and it's seen a lot of use. But as you can see, it has this really pretty distressed look. And I... I have been wanting to put these into a build for the longest time, but I just haven't had the right moment to. I do think the clock with these two items are worth it because you have so much potential to be able to make a build around these items. These items are with the Tangled Pack. So if you go to Furniture, go to All, and then Sort by Tangled, you should be able to see those items in that filter. And just to show you, I will go back into my furniture tab after I've put those items away, just so I can show you that they do show up in this filter. Last but not least, we have the Field Day Ensemble 
which includes the scare overalls, brown military jacket, and a toy cowboy watch. So we're going to put all these items on together and see what they look like. Something's already telling me that they're not going to go well together, which is kind of a bummer. I really like the outfit packs that kind of mesh well with each other and you can wear it all at the same time. Um, but let's put these items on and see what it looks like. So it looks like you can't wear all of the items at once because the overalls are considered a costume and you can't put the jacket over it. So I threw the jacket on just so you could see what the jacket looks like first. Which I really like the jacket. I like most of the jackets in this game because it just adds another layer to whatever look you're wanting to accomplish. So this is the jacket. I don't mind it. I think it's worth the purchase just because, again, you can use this with so many different outfits. But let's take a look at the overalls with the watch. So before I get into the overalls, this is what the watch looks like in person, on person. And I feel like you could probably use this watch with anything. I think that of most of the, like, wrist accessories, they pretty much are small enough to where you don't really see them while you're running around in game this is what the overalls look like and i think they're pretty cute you can definitely tell it's a monsters ink outfit but the overalls are super cute if you're into an overall type look and want to make it colorful i don't know if normally i would actually spend the moonstones on the outfit pack just because I don't know. They don't go together. You can't wear them all at the same time. The watch definitely doesn't match the overalls, but like I said, you can't really tell about the wrist accessories most of the time, especially if you're just running around your valley doing chores, not paying attention to your outfit. But if you're someone who wants all of the cosmetics and all of the outfits and everything that you can get, then go ahead and spend it. But 1,200 Moonstones for an outfit that doesn't even match, in my opinion, isn't quite worth it. But you do you, boo-boo. You're allowed to purchase whatever you want. It's your money. It's your Moonstones. But overall, I think, in my personal opinion, the best thing that's coming out of this week's premium item shop is the Purple Cottage. And I might be a little biased because that's really the vibe that I generally go for when I'm decorating any part of my valley, even on the inside. But that's this week's premium shop. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you next week.